The corruption trial in Lackawanna County is part of an ongoing federal investigation that has nabbed more than 30 people. And we're now told it's not just over just yet. The probe prompted a Luzerne County man to tell his own account of how alleged corruption ruined his life. Though so he wrote a book about his ordeal, and our lead team reporter Andy Mahal is here now with more on this story. Andy. Hi, it's really a fascinating story. The book is entitled The Luzerne County Railroad. It has nothing to do whatsoever with trains. It has everything to do with a culture of corruption that he says the author destroyed his life. Larry Hohal says he knows all too well about corruption in Luzerne County. He says he lost millions of dollars in a civil case involving his business in the early 1990s when he alleges backroom deals at the highest levels of the state and county legal system deep-sixed his case. What really prompted me to write the book was the arrest of the three sitting judges by the FBI uh, during the recent Kids for Cash scandal. I had been prompted uh, over the years to write a book about what happened to me at the courthouse, and I, I, my response was always, nobody would believe a word of it, until they started arresting these judges. Hohal says the current corruption probe gave him confidence to speak out. What was different here was they came in, made the initial arrest, and then made another arrest and then made another arrest, and then made 30 arrests. So I knew that this was not going to be a hit and run. And, and that really showed me that uh, this time was different than all the other times. Hohal says he names names and knows he'll be challenged by some of those in power. He is also pushing for a federal investigation into agencies that are supposed to be watchdogs over the court system. The people that uh, oversee the courts didn't do their job. Uh, the Judicial Conduct Board in particular uh, failed miserably with my case, and I write in great detail in this book about that. And Hoha believes the Kids for Cash scandal is just a glimpse into what's been going on for generations in Luzerne County. For the I-Team, Andy Bahal, Chicago Witness News. Okay, Andy, thank you.